Well, we're here at Kentucky Proud Park where UK just won the first game of the Lexington Regional 10 to 8 over Western Michigan. Got a little too close for comfort, but uh, I'm Daniel Hager, Kentucky Baseball Beat Writer. Stephen Peak is here behind the camera. He forgot the tripod, so Stephen will not be on camera today, but this game was a lot closer than it should have been. And UK goes up 8-0 and, and everyone's just thinking, you know what, this should be an easy game. Get out of here with a good win. You know, last year, UK only won 4-0 over Ball State. UK put up four and three innings, so they were really clicking on all cylinders to go up 8 to nothing. but then here came the pitching troubles. You know, Dominic Nyman kind of started to falter in that fifth inning, gives up three earned runs, he goes out, O'Brien comes in, gives up two more runs, and all of a sudden it's an 8-5 ball game. But UK goes out, uh, they come back, score two runs, so UK goes up 10 to five. Western Michigan doesn't go away though, pull within two, but man, Robert Hogan, what a performance from Bobby Spins. Uh, <laughs> was such an underrated guy all season came over from texas a&m and he absolutely balled out today uh three and a third innings closing it out gives up just two hits he got a little hairy in the ninth i believe he put two or three on he might have loaded the bases uh with michigan western michigan down two but forces the fly out to get out of it um, a really big win and now they'll be at it tomorrow we'll have to wait to see tonight who wins between illinois and indiana state but Thank God UK will not play in that noon game tomorrow. We'll, we'll get to wait till 6 o'clock. We'll have our day. Should be an unreal crowd, uh, 6 o'clock Saturday crowd. Even for a Friday noon crowd, today was really, really cool. Um, really good crowd, but um, just Yeah, Mingione, positives. Uh, talking off camera here, obviously. Uh, Mingione, he talked about the crowd today. Was oh, this one of the biggest crowds you've seen covering them for two years? Yeah, I, I believe so. I, I do think the, the regional games last year, which granted I wasn't here, but I do think that the crowds look bigger for those games. But tomorrow should smash this because they still had some spots available on the bleachers and they had some of the reserve seats open, but tomorrow should be a complete sellout and I'm really looking forward to that. I feel like we got a correspondent in the field and I'm just like in the studio asking the questions. Yeah. But, but uh, thinking about the next opponent, Indiana State, I've heard nothing but good things about them and the kind of trouble they can give Kentucky is that so are we pulling for Illinois tonight yeah we're definitely pulling for Illinois Indiana's pitching staff is a lot better I believe and their offense is a lot better I believe they've played better competition all season um, just well-rounded and a lot of people are actually picking Indiana State to win this regional I think uh, only one person out of ten on D1 baseball picked Illinois to win it maybe four or five Indiana State five UK so uh, definitely UK's biggest challenger but hey whoever gets to play Western Michigan tomorrow I'm you know, Western Michigan can make a really good run because they're a much better team than like a Ball State was last year, like the lower MAC team. But Western Michigan gave UK all they could handle today, and they bounced back, and they're moving on tomorrow in the winner's bracket. I asked this uh, earlier today, and I said, well, why does Kentucky get put in a region with a really good team like Indiana State? They're the number two overall seed. But you, you explained that to me. Can you just kind of explain it to everybody else? Yeah, too? I don't I don't understand this rule, why they don't do it like the NCAA basketball tournament, because it's based on geography, which I, it's just it's so stupid. Like I get like <laughs> college baseball might not have the funds that the other sports have where they can travel halfway across the country. But I, it's kind of BS, you know, like North Carolina ends up with LSU in their region who walked off on Wofford today. And they seem like a team of destiny right now. But North mm -hmm. Carolina gets the number four overall seed, and LSU goes to there in Chapel Hill. They're probably the hottest team in college baseball. And then UK, like East Carolina was a team that got a national bid, a regional host over Indiana State, and they lost today. It's just like you look at the teams that got that bid over Indiana State, and you're like, how in the world did that happen? And so then, I mean, if Indiana State wasn't going to be a number one overall seed, they should not have been here. But that they're here, so they're gonna have to deal with that going on forward. And for Kentucky, obviously, this uh, Coach Mangione said the second game has been kind of the thorn in their side. So uh, it's something to think about going into tomorrow, also, right? Yeah, definitely. That's that's been the Achilles heel in their foot, and he's even touched on that, which I'm glad that he acknowledged that it's a thing, and that he's gonna go out there and prepare him. And uh, I believe him. I, I believe they'll go out there, and uh, the, the decision to start Dominic Nyman. I know I wasn't a big fan of it when it was announced. I know a lot of people on social media and on KS Board weren't big fans of it when it was announced, but it turned out to be the right decision. He got his five really good innings, or four really good innings, and kind of fell off in the fifth, but you still you preserve Trey Poozer and you preserve Mason Moore, and you throw those guys out that next two days, get those two wins, and you won't even have to worry about a fourth or fifth game. So it, it was a good decision to get that out of the way, and uh, 
Yeah, they should be, they should be good. Who do you think gets the ball tomorrow? Uh, Trey Poozer, I believe. Uh, which I thought he was going to throw today. So with these kind of situations, you just never know. But so it doesn't matter who they play. That like it doesn't yeah. matter if it's Illinois yeah, or New State. Kind of based on what he said, he, he named Trey first and then Mason second. So I, I think they'll try and go Poozer tomorrow. Uh, win that second game for the first time since he's been here and uh, and kind of go for the kill. Yeah, and try to make it to where you only need to win three games. Yeah. Only need to play three games to get uh, to, to the Super Regional. Yeah, they never made it easy on themselves, but they've got the pitching to do it, the starting pitching. They've got their two best guys, and hopefully they can go six or seven and kind of bring that bullpen in. You saved Ryan Hagan out today. You saved Johnny Hummel today. And even Jackson Novi, who's been on and off, saved him. So I think they set themselves up well. It would have been a lot better if they didn't have to throw Robert Hogan today, which Mincio claimed that the plan was to throw Hogan, but I don't believe so. I don't believe that was a plan. I think he definitely would have wanted to save him uh, for an Indiana State or Illinois. But it happened. He shoved, delivered, and UK comes out with the win. Most important thing, survive in advance, right? Survive in advance, baby. That's it.